As winter approaches, everyone's asking, will Britain freeze or flood this year? The answer isn't simple. This season, powerful forces are clashing, making both icy blasts and relentless rain possible. Four major global weather drivers are lining up to shape our winter, each pulling the UK in a different direction. Let's break down what's at play and see what you can expect in the months ahead. Meet the four key players shaping our winter La Nina, the North Atlantic Tripole, the stratospheric polar vortex and Eurasian snow advance. La Nina cools the Pacific, often nudging the UK towards colder, drier weather by blocking Atlantic storms. The North Atlantic Tripole can either reinforce or counter this, depending on its setup, sometimes opening the floodgates for storms, sometimes building a wall of high pressure. The polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold air above the North Pole, can lock in Arctic chill or, if disrupted, unleash it southwards. Rapid Eurasian snow cover in autumn strengthens high pressure over Siberia, which can disrupt the polar vortex and boost our cold risk. These drivers interact in complex ways, amplifying or cancelling each other's effects. This winter, we have a moderate La Nina, a developing Atlantic pattern, a strong but potentially unstable polar vortex and extensive Eurasian snow. The result? A winter forecast that's anything but straightforward we're likely to see a mix of cold snaps and wet spells, with the balance shifting as the season progresses. Let's dive into each driver to see how they might tip the scales. La Nina, the cool phase of the Pacific, is a major player this year. For the UK, La Nina often means a colder, drier second half of winter, as high pressure blocks mild Atlantic storms and opens the door to Arctic air. This year's moderate La Nina is strengthening, suggesting a higher chance of a cold spell in January or February. But La Nina isn't a guarantee. If the Atlantic stays stormy, it could override the cold signal. Think of La Nina as tilting the odds toward cold, not forcing it. It's a key piece of the puzzle, but not the only one. The real story depends on how it interacts with the other drivers. The North Atlantic Tripole is all about sea temperatures near us. This winter's negative tripole, cooler south of Greenland, warmer near Newfoundland, pushes the jet stream south, putting the UK on the colder side. This pattern reinforces La Nina's cold signal, making blocking highs and cold winds from the north or east more likely. Expect fewer mild, wet storms and more sharp frosts and wintry showers. The ocean is stacking the deck for a colder winter, but the battle between cold and mild air will be fierce. Where these air masses meet, expect dramatic weather. Snow for some, rain for others. High above the Arctic, the stratospheric polar vortex spins like a giant top. When strong, it keeps cold air locked up, giving us milder winters. But if it weakens or splits, a sudden stratospheric warming, Arctic air can spill south, triggering severe cold snaps. This winter, the vortex starts strong, so December looks mild and unsettled. But with extensive Eurasian snow and La Nina, a disruption is possible in late December or January. If that happens, expect a dramatic shift to cold, snowy weather in late winter. The polar vortex is the wild card. Stable means mild, disrupted means a deep freeze. We'll be watching it closely. The amount of autumn snow in Siberia is a powerful clue for our winter. More snow means a stronger Siberian high, which can disrupt the polar vortex and send cold air our way. This year, Eurasian snow cover is well above average, 
a classic sign of increased cold risk for the UK. It primes the atmosphere for a cold snap, especially in January or February. While not a guarantee, it's one of the strongest cold signals we've seen in years. Combined with La Nina, it loads the dice for a wintry finale. The impact builds slowly, but the risk of a late winter freeze is real. Let's break down the winter month by month. December starts unsettled and mild, with the Atlantic in charge. Expect wind, rain and flood risk, especially in the west. Snow is mostly confined to the Scottish mountains. In January, the pattern shifts. Blocking highs to the north become more likely, bringing colder, drier weather and a higher risk of frost, ice and snow, especially in the east and north. Temperatures drop below average, and any precipitation could turn wintry. February is the wild card. If the polar vortex is disrupted, expect the coldest, snowiest spell of the season. This could mean a classic beast from the east, with bitter winds and widespread snow. If not, milder, wetter weather could return, but the odds favour a cold finish. In summary, December is wet and mild, January turns colder, and February could bring a memorable freeze. Flooding is the main risk early on. Snow and ice take over later. It's a winter of two halves. Prepare for rain first, then brace for the cold. The second half is when the real winter arrives. Stay alert for sudden changes. So, what's the most likely outcome? The top scenario, about a 55% chance, is a classic cold dominated winter mild and wet early, then turning colder and snowier from January onward. There's a 30% chance of a severe cold winter with an early polar vortex disruption bringing intense prolonged cold and heavy snow. The least likely, at 15%, is a mild wet Atlantic winter with frequent storms and high flood risk, but little snow. Most evidence points to a cold second half but nothing is certain. The odds are stacked for a memorable chill, but we can't rule out surprises. Prepare for both possibilities, especially a late winter freeze. The key is to stay flexible and weather aware. Winter risks vary across the UK. Scotland and Northern England face the highest risk of severe cold and disruptive snow especially from January onward. Wales and southwest England will see the most rain and flood risk early, but can also get heavy snow when cold air meets Atlantic moisture. The Midlands and southeast are drier but exposed to sharp frosts and sudden snow if easterly winds set in. Flood risk peaks in December for the west. The risk of a deep freeze and widespread snow is highest from mid-January to February. Use the milder start to prepare check flood defences, stock up on winter supplies and get your car and home ready. Don't wait for the cold to hit, plan ahead. The window for preparation is short. Be ready for both floods and freezes. As we wrap up, remember, this winter is likely to be split in two, mild and wet, then cold and challenging. Watch for news of polar vortex disruptions or blocking highs. These are your signals for a cold snap. Prepare your home, car and family for both heavy rain and severe cold. Check on vulnerable neighbours and keep emergency supplies handy. Stay tuned for updates and be ready to adapt as the weather shifts. Whatever winter brings, stay safe, stay informed, and we'll guide you through it.